Hey guys, welcome to week four of our class, Composition and Rhetoric. I wanted to give you guys a brief overview or, you know, preview into what to expect and how to find the assignments for the week. A lot of you guys have been having questions and so I wanted to make it clear so we can all be on the same page as we begin our first essay of the semester. So once again, we're in week four and we are in lesson three of the folder in the left menu tab where you go to lessons and you see the folders and we are going to be introducing the rhetorical analysis essay this week now the first place you want to go when you're looking for what assignment do we have due of course you come to blackboard and then immediately you want to look at the announcements page so right here you have the announcements and you can see that there are a couple of things that you may or may not want to catch up on or may or may not need to know before you open a new lesson folder so i'm, I'm going to always have lessons available for you and instructions available for for you but the announcements basically give you some overview and some preview into what to expect it tells you we're in week four lesson three folder and the subject of our folder is the rhetorical analysis essay now the second thing you want to look at is this page right here this page right here is actually a clip from the um the course book that you guys have inside of blackboard this is week four of that course book you can find the course book on the left menu tab of blackboard right here you click on that course book and you will have access to an overview of the entire semester okay? and this is called the semester course book now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to find week four that means that you'll have to navigate through all the pages that we have already gone through and discussed we've gone through week one lesson one we've gone through week two we've gone through week three and now we are at week four and so for week four if you were to zoom in, you'd see for week four that you have access to all of the readings you have to do that were due for you to read yesterday, which was Monday. Your Monday meditation, which should have began for you yesterday and is due tonight. It is due tonight by 11.59 p.m. All of that is exposed to you and revealed to you within the week four page of the semester course book. Now, as we enter into class today, it will also tell you what are we going to discuss for class. And you can look forward to the subject, which is pathos, logos, and ethos. And then you have these nine elements here. And you have an essay overview where we're going to discuss the thesis. This Saturday, the 5th of February, we're going to have an assignment that's due. It's a Why We Write Thesis Draft Assignment. This is where you're going to write your first draft of your thesis, and we're going to look at it over to again um, next week. So this is an overview of the week, and then, of course, you have week 5, week 6, week 7, and so forth. And then after that, we have lesson 4, where we are writing on the narrative essay. But stay focused and stay within the boundaries of what we are discussing so that your essays can be clear now this again is what you want to um, look at when you don't quite know what's doing when you want to stay on track so first and foremost we, we of course we had that initial announcements page next thing that you have is the course handbook and then you have again the calendar the calendar will tell you exactly what's due um, and what what you get a grade for so today is Tuesday February 4th welcome February and we have a Monday meditation that is due today at 11 59 p.m. again your why we write rhetorical draft um, for your thesis is there and you'll see a repeating um, thing which is a course um, virtual session which we have every Tuesday at 5 p.m. now you have a quiz that will be due on um, anytime before let's put this right here actually your quiz is due anytime before the rhetorical analysis paper that before the rhetorical analysis draft excuse me so your draft is due on the 12th okay the final submission is on the 26th your quiz will be due anytime between now and the 12th before you submit that draft and if you ever have any questions um we'll be going into depth um throughout the semester uh in, into depth about mla format how to get sources um exactly how to support your argument how to hook your reader we'll be going through all of those things but if you have any questions of course you want to go to ask the instructor where you see that some of your peers have already posted questions like mckenzie's question here on the rhetorical analysis essay she says you know we'll be going into depth about how to write this essay she said i honestly can't remember how to do it and i'm really worried about it well great question mckenzie we will be going into depth our first session will discuss how to write it and from an and form an idea 
We will then discuss the different texts you can choose from. The following week, we will look into the intro, body, and conclusion. Then we will discuss drafts some more. After that, we will focus on our evidence and examples. So use this forum, okay? Make sure that you actually subscribe as well. You can hit the subscribe button here. I've already hit it, so it says unsubscribe, but yours should say subscribe. And then you'll get an update each time a student posts a question and each time I post an answer. Beyond that, students, you should all know that once we have a lesson folder, um, it's your responsibility to go inside and to read its content. So the lesson folder itself is the final and the most important thing that you have to visit. So it tells you exactly what readings you have to do. It, it you know, introduces you to the nine elements of the course, which you need, the nine elements of rhetoric. You need these to understand the assignment that you have due today, the Monday meditation called inventory. Okay, but one of the most important things you're gonna find in the lesson folder is the instruction for the essay. So here is the instruction for the essay. It tells you exactly when the quiz is due, when is the draft due, when is the final due, how much of your grade is it, 20% of your final grade, how many pages is it going to be, three pages double spaced, and it tells you exactly how to complete this assignment. Now for this assignment, you will need to develop a thesis statement, okay, your thesis statement again is the main idea of your entire paper. Okay, the thesis statement must answer our guiding question for this essay. The guiding question is, what was the author's effectiveness in bringing the reader to his or her side? Meaning, was the author effective in bringing the reader to their side? And then how? Using what specific rhetorical strategies? X, Y, Z, meaning you have to explore each rhetorical strategy, logos, ethos, pathos, and we will get into that some more. Now, I want to state this directly to you guys before anyone makes this mistake in their paper. In spite of the fact that we are discussing ethos, pathos, and logos, you will not use these terms within the paper. You will use more specific terms because the terms ethos, pathos, and logos are very broad and very general. Your paper should be very specific. So you will have to use things like logical appeal, ethical appeal, emotional appeal. And here are some words that go along and coincide with those overarching ideas and concepts. For logical appeal, you have reason, arguments, historical facts, statistics. For ethical appeal, you have credibility, morality, right and wrong. For emotional appeal, you have emotion-laden vocabulary, imagery, descriptive language, personal anecdotes. Each of these are what you should be discussing in your papers, not just the words ethos, pathos, or logos. So these words should not appear in your essay. Okay, now you will choose one of the texts located here to do your rhetorical analysis on. So that means that you're going to look at potentially Mario Cuomo's A Tale of Two Cities, okay, or Dr. King's Letters from Birmingham Jail, or Chadwick Boseman's 2018 Commencement Address, Nora Ephron's 1996 Commencement Address, or Gloria Anzaldúa's How to Tame a Wild Tongue. The choice is yours, but you're going to read these texts in depth and you're going to answer that guiding question. What was the author's effectiveness? Was the author effective in bringing the reader to his or her side? And then how? Using what specific rhetorical strategies, how did the author bring you to their side? We'll discuss this some more. But again, it is your responsibility to make sure that you navigate the lesson folder, that you read its contents. And if you have a question, it is your responsibility to go to ask the instructor and post your question. Now, for those of you who have done the Monday meditation already, I already see some issues. Your Monday meditation should look like a table. It should have at least five, at least five entries because you're doing this over a 24 hour period. It should address the writing task, the audience, the purpose, it should address the language that you use in the text. It could have been slang. It could have been formal. It could have been um, academic language. It should address the genre. What kind of message was this? Okay. Was it a text message? Was it poetry? Was it a grocery list? And then the medium. How did you deliver it? What did you use inside of it? And how did you deliver it? Was it a digital text? Did you use emojis and a meme? Okay. Did you write this out by hand? All of that matters. And you should have... A list that shows a 24 hour period of taking notes on those writing tasks. We'll discuss why this is important as we enter into the rhetorical analysis paper. And so that is all I have for you as we commence this particular part of the semester where you're introduced to the rhetorical analysis paper. I hope that you guys have a great day. I look forward to seeing you today at 5 p.m.
Bye. Thank you.